Hello guys, it's James and Megan here from Dundee Science Centre and we are going to be talking all about volcanoes and how you can make your own volcano at home. But first of all, let's think about some volcano facts. Megan? Excellent. So the biggest volcano in our solar system is actually on the planet Mars. Mm -hmm. It's the next planet away from the sun from us. And that volcano is called Olympus Mons mm -hmm. and it's almost three times taller than Mount Everest. Wow. And it's about the size of France. Mm. It's huge. Now there isn't a volcano that big on Earth, but there is one pretty close to home, isn't there, James? Mm, yes. So the closest volcano to here, where we are at Dundee Science Centre, is actually Dundee Law, which is just the big hill out there. Um, it's actually the top of a volcano, which is pretty exciting. Very it's not going to erupt anytime soon, though, so we should be okay. We should be okay. Now what we're going to do is make our own volcano, um, and you could do it using stuff that you probably have in your kitchen. So what we've already done is made the volcano base using something called salt dough, okay? Mm. So this stuff's really easy to make. It's just flour, salt, and water. It doesn't require any cooking or anything like that. We've built it around a beaker here, but you could maybe use a plastic cup or something. You'd get the same effect. Now, to make our volcano, what we're gonna do is mix some bicarbonate of soda with vinegar, okay? And that will start a chemical reaction, which will produce lots and lots of bubbles of gas and it will make our volcano, our volcanic lava, erupt over and out the top of the volcano, spilling down the way. So, exciting. let's start with some bicarb. Oh, about that much? Excellent. Sounds good. Now, lava is generally a kind of orangey-red colour, so we're going to add two things now. We're going to add some yellow food colouring, first of all. Oh, lovely, look at that. Mm. Very impressed. And some washing up liquid as well. This just makes it a little bit more foamy. Nice and yeah, bubbly. A little bit more exciting. Good, that'll do. Now, are we prepared for the eruption? Very Shall we go down? Drum roll. Yeah. Oh, Three, two, two one. one. Oh, 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 very Yay. good. Not bad at all. Yeah, excellent. Oh. So that has erupted pretty well. We probably could have done with a bit more yellow there, but I mean, white's gone up, white's gone up. Excellent. So after all of that lava cools when a volcano erupts, it can leave lots of nice nutrients in the soil. That's why some of the land around volcanoes is some of the best for growing plants. So places like Italy, which don't tend to have very good soil, around places like Mount Vesuvius, which was a volcano that erupted a long time ago, the soil is actually quite fertile. It's got a lot of the minerals and nutrients needed for plants to grow. And that comes from this lava. So why not give it a try at home, guys? Really, really easy stuff. All you need, like I said, is your flour, your salt and your water to make salt dough. Bit of washing up liquid, bit of food colouring, bit of bicarb, and of course our favourite science ingredient, vinegar. Thanks guys!